and welcome back to our Elder Scrolls 3 Morrowind playthrough. I am your host Valenfor, and we're starting again from Valenvaron, or wherever the hell this place is. Valenvarion. There you go. Uh, I've read up a little bit about these uh, Dunmer strongholds. This one in particular was actually um, obliterated, or at least the main chambers underneath the ground. Uh, the entrance is completely blocked off, so you can't get in there anyway. And um, orc-ish residents have taken up uh, the outbuildings. They each have a little building. They're all hostile, except for a couple. Um, there's one, I think, that was over there we spoke to. It wasn't hostile. There's um, a couple inside some of these other uh, ruins. And there's not much in the way of items that you can loot from in these things. Uh, this is actually the Daedric Lord Malakath. The orcs uh, actually um, worship this Daedric Lord. And the only real building that we should go and investigate, and let's go quick save here, um, is actually this one, the Polypylon, I think it's, oh, prop, prop, Propylon uh, Chamber. Now, I think there might be an enemy inside, so let's just make sure we are ready. And here we go. question quickly. I and it looks going. like they're not an enemy at all. So she actually has some training. We can get mysticism and conjuration and alchemy here. And we can also get some um, new potions here as well. She also sells a complete set of Grandmaster. And what do we have? We only have Master. So we could actually get um, uh, selection of Grandmaster items here. Um, is it worth it though? Uh, maybe. But we can always come back. Uh, it's not a problem. So let's just leave her alone for now. Uh, now the interesting thing is that these glowing portals that you have here are actually portals to other propylon um, areas, propylon chambers in other Dunmer settlements. This one goes to Rotharan, and this one is linked to Phalasmarion. There are um, propylon indices or keys that allow you to use these and then you can basically transport yourself between the Dunmer settlements, the old Dunmer uh, strongholds. But the wise woman actually has the propylon um, index key for Valum Varion back in her tent and of course we've left her alone now so um, but we can always go and pick that up at another stage I will probably have to go and try and see if I can steal it from her though because um, she doesn't sell it unless you have one of the uh, small DLC uh, items actually installed which we don't but in any case let's get into it here he's down for the count we are heading towards Kogarun. Not entirely sure how long this episode will end up being, or how long it will end up taking us to go through Kogarun. I expect we won't do it in one episode. Um, and since I've probably talked now for a good, whatever it is, five minutes, I would say, possibly. So we need to be cracking on here. There's Daedric Ruin just to the left of us here. Just ignore that for now. I think we can now start heading directly south. There's another ancestral tomb over there. Ancestral tomb is this. We may as well just go and have a look. Um, as I said, one thing I can't wait to start playing is Oblivion, where we can actually fast travel and get these locations on the map. That's the Omelin Ancestral Tomb. We're still heading directly south here. And also, how close are we to levelling up here? Oh, 5 out of 10, so we've got another 5 levels. Ow! You sneaked up on me, didn't you? Yeah, so we've got another five um, level ups in our main and misc minor, sorry, skills uh, before we gain a 
level. And uh, what I really want to do is get myself a Drain Attribute spell. And the reason I want to get a Drain Attribute spell is that I actually want to drain... Oh, not Attribute, Skill. Drain Skill spell. Uh, is I want to actually drain a lot of my skills to be level 1 and then purchase skill ups. Now the reason for that is that you can then purchase them as if they're level 1 spells. And uh, uh, level 1 skills, sorry. And then you can uh, get the cheapest um, training possible. Which is obviously really, really useful. Now, some people might see that as being quite cheap. I don't. In order to try and level up our minor skills, which are actually really lacking, that is probably the best way to go about doing it. I um, just want to have a look at this little outbuilding. It doesn't look like there's much going on there. So, so this is Kogarun here. Um, old Dunma settlement. And it's actually the Dunma settlement for the sixth house, the broken sixth house. It's the, the enemy got a couple of people to deal with in here, so let's get rid of this guy here, go down, anyone else, got an ancestral ghost here, hey, no, come on, what's he just cast on me, ghost curse, Brilliant. It's draining my fatigue and it's draining my endurance. So let's see. Restore endurance. There you go. And there's another enemy nearby. Let's just clear this place out on the outside before we head on inside. I vaguely recall seeing someone on top of one of these little outfits. Outcroppings, let's say. There's something solid here. Seems to be an invisible wall. Let's head round this way. And again, sorry for the jumping, but uh, trying to get your acrobatics up is the only way to do it. <laughs> ah, okay. Rest until healed. Might end up being night time. Yes, it is. Okay, let's uh, just push it forwards about. Let's go for 10 hours. Hopefully we won't get attacked. Really? By a rat, no less. Okay, rest one hour, get some daylight, and then we'll head on inside. I know it doesn't make much sense to get daylight because, of course, we're going inside this building. Is that a rat I see before me there? Looks like it. And uh, actually going around the edge means I've got to now head back up here. One of the enemies is actually on top of this um, building here. What is this? Fer Feral Salmon's corpse. What's he got on him then? Steel broadsword, indoril boots, M medium armor. That's what um, the guards outside of Telvani, not Telvani, outside of. Um, oh, Hetcher of Saint Aralor. Cast when used. It's not really worth. Do you know what? I'll take it anyway. There we go. That gets rid of that little rat. Um, he looks like one of the um, tribunal guards. Right, there's the Hall of Fisto. That's the main hallway. We need to go inside there. Um, and that actually allows us to move around. Temple of Fey, I think, is, uh, is blocked off. There's not much in there. Dome of Pollux Eve. Let's just save here and we'll head on inside. Way. Come on. One more. Thank you. That was a Dagoth Giria. We'll take his sixth house amulet. It's actually worth something. And let's just check what it was he did to us. Nothing but looks of things. That's good. Cast Night Light. Go. And what do we have here? Little pot. Nothing in it. Here's the house Dagoth Cup. We need that 
that's one of the items that we need to be looking for. So that's one down, two to go. You may recall we also need, now let's think here, we need um, the shadow shield, I think it was. Wow, what's this evil looking thing? Slowed. Wow, he's hurting badly. That's nasty. Nasty, nasty, nasty. Hopefully I can kill him before he kills me. Probably should have saved. Let's take another potion here. A couple of magicka, I think it's probably a good idea. Um, and then let's try and run. Oh, come on. Right, let's run back in. Come on. Got you, you evil. Wow, he was nasty. Okay. So we've got another one of those sixth house amulets and by Jingo, that was that was a nasty fight. Okay, what have we got inside here? We have uh, the dreamer is awake and a couple of sixth house symbols there. There's not much else to loot in here by looks of things, so we can leave this place now. Rest while there are enemies nearby. I didn't think there were. Let's just uh, quick save here. Temple of Fey. Let's go and have a look inside here. Oh, goody. There's another one of these fellas. Ah! He killed me. Well, that's just lovely, isn't it? Okay. Not to worry. Let's get back into the fray here. I will actually just move back so I can rest up. Come on. Really? There we go. Rest until healed. We'll get our stamina back and what I'll do actually is, let's have a look here. Night Eye. Amulet of Shadows. We're gonna go in and we're gonna absolutely nuke the hell out of this guy. So quick save. Let's hope I get a critical strike on this punk. Nope, but I didn't. Yeah, you have no idea where I am, do you? <laughs> Eat it. Thank you kindly. That's another amulet. And anything else in here? Nothing inside this bit. We've got another one of these uh, bell areas. Let's just get the night light going. And uh, another of the six house hammers. Bell hammer. It, again, it's heavy as hell, but it's worth a lot. Um, I'll keep hold of it anyway, because we might be able to sell it, but if it turns out that it looks like we're not going to be able to uh, come away with any more loot, I will just get rid of the, the thing, you know? Right, uh, so we've just headed on inside the Hall of Mephisto, and I think we should head this way. The door down. Not today. <laughs> Holding back to make sure I hit the hardest that I can do. Uh, there's another one of those. Thing. Parchment with scrawlings, we also have an iron tanto. All cries are waking. Whitest white of all whites, blackest black of all black, shame and sun, sun and shadow. 
Oh, what is all this now? Okay. Some little crazy poem thing. I'm not going to bother picking that up because there's not much point. There seems to be like a sewing machine here for some reason. Um, now this bit just goes around, I think, in like a circular area. Can't rest while there are enemies nearby. Okay, so there's still an enemy nearby somewhere. Now, let's rest until healed. Go. And this bit takes us up to the Hall of the Watchful Touch. Sounds filthy. Um, <laughs> we're going to leave that one. I don't think there's much up there, to be fair. Um, but we are going to head further in. That takes us back outside, so we've done a full lap now, okay? We need to be heading down, I believe, down into the depths. Hall of Makey. There we go. We're on the right path. I'm going to quick save. There are quite a few things down here which, whilst they were not going to kill us in one hit, they could uh, just take us out if they if we get too many of them on us at one time, you know. We've got no, nothing there. What's this over here? have what looks like an arrow. Shard arrow, I'll take that. Fortify endurance. Another one of these little shriny areas. What's this? Glass pot, ceramic bowl, hound meat, expensive shirt. Anything in the desk? Nothing in the desk. Okay, and what's this? It's just a door. Um, this, I believe, takes us down to the catacombs, where I think there are a couple of nice items, actually. <laughs> So look, this is the first area. We have, look here, a glass halbeard. 16,000 the value. Ridiculous. This dead hero has Fury, a long blade two-handed weapon. It's a constant effect weapon, so it has, what's it got? Blind, 20% on self. Drain, heavy armor, 20% on self. Medium armor, 20%. 20 points, light armor 20 points, unarmored 20 points, but it fortifies attack 20 points on itself. Now, I'm not going to weld that, but I am going to take it because it's worth quite a bit, and I'm actually going to drop this sick house bell hammer because it's not worth the weight. We're also going to pick up this, look at this, 28,000 gold this is worth. Glass armor, it's one of the best in game. The shield, and it, of course it doesn't weigh anything. Which is amazing. Health potion, we may as well take it. And um, a lesser soul gem, yeah, why not? And it looks like he's wearing pretty much just light armor now. You'll notice his eyes are a bit odd. I'm almost certain that this guy was at one stage a vampire. Or maybe it's just that he's dead, you know. Let's uh, go inside this one. This guy, what does this guy have? He has crab meat, not interested. He has a silver spear, not really interested. Uh, Nech for a couple of potions. We'll take potions. Reflect is always a good one. Expensive left gloves. Raw ebony. Yeah, in the grand scheme of things, it's not really worth it now. Let's leave him below. And finally... We have this guy. So we can see what we're doing. Dead hero. He had 200 gold. Probe. A lockpick. An ash statue, which I'm really, really not bothered about. Look at this. An ebony short sword. Worth 10,000. I will take it because we're going to need to actually level up our short sword um, skill at some stage. And this is probably a very decent weapon to do it with. Um, so that's really, really good. So we're finding some really nice items down here, actually. So let's continue along this way. And head further into this sixth house base. But in the space of about two minutes, maybe, we found almost 50, 60,000 golds worth of items. I 
still can't rest, so there's clearly an enemy nearby here. Uh, let's see where these two doors go. Oh, Vault of a Road, eh? Ooh, okay, we've got a clan fear. And he's down. Can I rest? No. Still enemies nearby. This is a. Uh... Whoa, that's a bone lord. Oh, okay. Not so much to worry about then, except for the fact that he's cast. Uh, reduce speed. Uh, restore. That does speed. Uh, I still can't. Oh, what is going on here? Okay. Let's take a. Mana potion. There we go, we've got our stuff restored now. Is there anything else in here? Because at the moment we can't actually rest. Detect key. Ah no, this is this is an interesting one. Okay, so here we go. This is the sixth house um insignia made out of gold coins and I'm just gonna nick it because you know or at least spoil the pretty pattern that someone's painstakingly gone and uh, created <laughs> oh dear now, if this was oblivion I could cast a spell inside this and all of these items would go flying um, ah, do you know what? This is taking too long, isn't it, really? Okay, I won't bother with all of this. It's not really worth it. Five gold here and there. Ah. Yeah, in the grand scheme of things, I've already picked up a load of items, haven't I? So let's leave that. Telvani Dust Adept Helm. Interesting item, but we don't really want it. And um, what's this? Grave Dust, Ash Statue. No, 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 no. <laughs> Came through that door there. Let's have a look in this one. Oh, it's a slowed monster. Oh. And now I've run out of mana. Fabulous. Okay. And no, 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 no. What if I use one of my Soul gems. Which one's a decent one that's actually got something inside it? Let's use that. Uh, recharge enchanted item. The amulet of shadows. Oh, no, really? Okay, we'll do that again. Recharge enchanted item. Common soul gems you've been used up, and it hasn't actually done it, which is really annoying. Let's see if I can't take this guy down. Stop failing the spells, please. Because this could go disastrously. Can I use this? is magic. Oh my Can you see this? This is absolutely ridiculous. Cast limb thing. Right. There we go. Critical hit. And he's down. Fantastic. What's he got on him? Lower Kogrun key. Wait, so we actually needed to take this guy out anyway. However, guys, looking at the time. Okay, this guy actually. He likes balancing furniture on each other. What the hell? Okay, so we've got we've got chairs piled up on top of one another. What else have we got here? 
silver claymore, not really interested in that particularly, but we've got tables on top of tables. What's this? What is this place? Very odd. Okay, anyway, as I was saying, guys, this is where we're actually going to end for today. I really hope you've enjoyed this one. If you have, please do all those lovely social media things. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe if you are new to the channel. And I will see you next time where we will delve further into Kogarun and hopefully find a few more of these items that we are looking for. But until then, take care.